John Pierpont Morgan, born in 1837 into a world of privilege and affluence. His father, Junior Spencer Morgan, a wealthy banker, ensured that John received the best education money could buy. Hey, awesome creators. Welcome back to another tutorial where the magic happens. Today, I'm pulling back the curtain to reveal how I crafted a scene right from the ground up using the incredible cap cut. Now, let me explain the scene for you. The iconic J.P. Morgan, his image standing prude against the backdrop of the company's monumental building. And that's just the beginning. To add that personal touch, we elegantly fade in his full name and birth year. Details matter, especially when we're painting the story of a visionary. Head into CapCut, locate your audio file, a quick import, a smooth drag, and there it is, sitting comfortably on our timeline. Before we dive into the further magic of CapCut, we need the perfect canvas for our visual narrative. And where better to find it than the vast expanse of the internet? We're searching for a specific backdrop, a canvas that sets the tone for our scene. And for that I feed the keyword, the grey wall image, to Google. After scrolling for a while, I finally found the image which I was looking for. After downloading, the next step is to seamlessly integrate it into our creative canvas within CapCut, easy as pie. A quick drag and drop action places our image on the canvas, laying the foundation for the visual narrative we're about to sculpt. Now, here comes the grandeur. Let's scale this canvas of potential to a whopping 264%. Why? Because in this scene, every detail deserves to be magnified, every nuance amplified. After that, change the adjustment properties such as brightness to negative 50 and vignette to 50. For moment, let's skip the animation part. We will animate all the layers one by one once we set the scene. Now let's search for the JP Morgan's picture along with his company's building image. I searched a lot, but I was not getting the image that actually met my vision. But, you know, the perfect shot can be elusive. I found an image close to what I had in mind. There was just one hiccup. The hand of JP Morgan was slightly cropped. Now, for a perfect scene, we need the complete image. So to overcome that problem, I used the tool called Clip Drop by Stability AI. This tool, my friends, is a game changer. It's the magic wand we need to perfect our scene. Head over to Google, type in Uncrop AI, and there you'll find the tool. Click, open, and a drag and drop interface awaits you. Simply upload the image, click Next, and choose Landscape as the aspect ratio, and click on Next. After a bit of loading, you'll be presented with four variations of our image. Pick the one that aligns perfectly with our vision, download it, and we're one step closer to perfection. Now, we've got our hands on the ideal JP Morgan image. But wait, there's more. Let's polish it up further. Head over to Remove BG to gracefully remove the background. And here's the best part. I've got your back. Check the description below for all the assets you need to follow along. No worries, I've got you covered. With our assets in hand, let's import these gems into CapCut and sculpt our scene to perfection. With our assets snugly imported, it's time to shape the narrative. First up, grab that building image and lay it down on the very first layer of our timeline. Sync it up with the audio. Now, onto layer two, here comes the man himself, JP Morgan. Drag and drop his image, giving him the spotlight he deserves. Now, let's add that third crucial element, the name of JP Morgan. Remember that captivating technique I shared in a previous tutorial? If you missed it, no worries. Catch up on that video for a deep dive. For now, import that distinguished name right here in CapCut. Place it over the time frame, making sure it dances in harmony with the audio. And here's the magic touch. Adjust the blend property to brighten. Watch as the unwanted black background fades away, leaving us with a crisp, clean name ready to command attention. If you're new to the channel, I highly recommend checking out that previous tutorial where I spilled the beans on creating captivating words and lines. It's a gem, don't miss it. Now that we've got all our assets neatly on the timeline, it's time to infuse them with life. Let's dive into animation. Grab that building image. It's about to embark on a visual journey. First things first, set the stage by placing our initial keyframe at the very beginning. For the first act, let's play with scale and opacity. Dial up the drama by setting the scale to 201% and opacity to a subtle 16%. Now let's fast forward a bit. Hit Shift plus right arrow on your keyboard to leap forward 10 frames. Right here, mark the second act with another keyframe. This time, tweak the scale to 101% and opacity to a bold 80%. Feel that dynamic shift? But wait, 
Let's not forget about positioning. Set the coordinates to X405 and Y0, anchoring our building in the perfect spot. Now, let's turn our attention to the enigmatic JP Morgan. First, set the spotlight on JP Morgan by placing the initial keyframe right at the genesis of the image. It's the opening act, and for scale and opacity, we're dialing up the anticipation. Scale to 251% and opacity down to a whisper at 0%. Get 15 frames forward, the second act unfolds. Place the keyframe, and this time, we're changing the tune. Scale down to 74% and opacity takes center stage at a commanding 100%. Adjust the coordinates to Exelfist negative 165 and Yus negative 369, letting JP Morgan find its perfect spot in the visual ensemble. Let's animate the name Begin the Animation by placing the first keyframe right at the start of our text. It's the opening note, and for scale and opacity, we're orchestrating a crescendo. Scale to 123% and opacity takes a bow at 0%. Let's fast forward a bit more. Hit Shift plus right arrow to leap 26 frames into the timeline. The second act is upon us. Place that keyframe, and this time, we're fine tuning the harmony. Scale down to a seamless 100%, and opacity steps into the limelight at 100%. Then set the coordinates to X negative 67 and Y negative 316, ensuring our text finds its sweet spot in the visual rhythm. We're on the brink of perfection, but what's a masterpiece without a dash of flair? It's time to sprinkle some magic by introducing the birth year and a subtle yet impactful underline below the text. First, let's invite the birth year to the party. Import it into CapCut and delicately place it in our timeline, ready to make its grand entrance and change blend property to brighten, set scale to 31% and sync it with the audio at the time first occurrence of birth year in audio. Now, let's breathe life into the birth year. It's not just a number, it's a key player in our visual narrative. Begin by setting the stage. Position the birth year with precision. For X, let it be a bold negative 1082, and for Y, a subtle negative 192. It's all about finding that perfect spot on our canvas. With our positioning masterpiece in place, let's venture into the secret realm of magic, the mask tab. Within this realm, choose the horizontal mask as your wand and spin it around with a 180 degree rotation. It's like unleashing the magic that's been dormant, waiting for the right moment. The magic is ready and here's where the enchantment begins. Set the first keyframe at the very start of our birth year. For position, make X dance to a rhythm of 15 and Y gracefully waltz to a subtle negative 258. Let's fast forward 15 frames into the future. The second act is here. Place the keyframe and this time tweak the coordinates. X takes a step to 46 and Y, in a graceful move, reaches for 380. It's like a dance, but with pixels. Now let's spotlight the unsung hero of our scene, the underline. Crafted with precision in Figma, it's ready to make a quiet yet powerful entrance. Import this stroke of elegance into our timeline. Ensure its length mirrors that of the birth year. Set the scale to a poised 100. It's the calm before the storm. With everything in place, it's time to breathe life into our humble underline. The first stroke of brilliance starts with the first keyframe. At the birth of our underline, set the coordinates. For X, a daring negative 3900, and for Y, a subtle negative 609. It's like setting the scene for an understated overture. Fast forward 87 frames. The anticipation is building. As the second act unfolds, place the keyframe. X takes a quantum leap to zero and Y gracefully mirrors the first keyframe's move. It's a dance of pixels, subtle yet captivating. Ready to witness the elegance of the underline? Hit play and see how this seemingly simple stroke transforms into a visual symphony. Before we bid adieu, let's add that final touch of magic to each layer in our scene. It's time for the outro animation, adding a graceful exit to our elements. Starting with our building layer, scoot back 11 frames from the end. Here, set the position keyframe with X at 405 and Y at 0. Glide 9 frames ahead and drop another keyframe, this time with X plunging to negative 3570, but Y staying put at 0. Now, let's give JP Morgan's image its farewell dance. At 11 frames from the end, nudge the position keyframe to X, negative 165, and Y, negative 369. Journey 9 frames ahead, and X spirals down to negative 3000. 
while Y stands its ground at negative 369. Our name layer deserves a cinematic farewell too. Sync the keyframes with the building layer's finale to X negative 67, Y negative 316. Fast forward nine frames and X takes a stroll to negative 3500 while Y keeps the same rhythm at negative 316. Last but not least, our birth year layer. Mimic the keyframe ballet at 11 frames from the end. X negative 1082, Y negative 192. Leap ahead nine frames and X gracefully glides to negative 2500 while Y maintains its elegance at negative 192. Now, for that final stroke of brilliance, let's sprinkle some vintage magic. I've got a dust overlay straight from the realms of YouTube, ready to add that nostalgic touch. Import this dust overlay into CapCut, like unlocking a time capsule from the past. Once it's in, let's place it delicately on our timeline, set to unveil its magic. It's time for the blend mode ballet. Select screen as the dance partner for our dust overlay. It's the move that'll seamlessly integrate it into our visual masterpiece. Now, let's tweak the opacity dial to a gentle 38%. It's the sweet spot that ensures the vintage vibes don't overpower our scene, but enhance it with a subtle touch. Our dust overlay is ready to play its part, but for this, it belongs behind the JP Morgan's image. Send it backstage, ensuring it's the subtle backdrop that elevates the entire performance. We're about to dive into the next scene, and to make it pop, we need Junius Morgan, JP Morgan's dad. No worries, I've got his picture in CapCut, but if you fancy a little search, Google or the link in the description is where you'll find it. Picture this, like setting up a bigger canvas for our next story chapter by extending the wall background image. Now, the spotlight is on Junius Morgan, Drag his picture into the timeline right after our last scene wraps up. It's the seamless transition we need. Let's introduce Junius Morgan's name into the timeline. It's like setting the stage for his big moment. To make sure Junius Morgan's name shines, let's play with the lights a bit. Change the blend to brighten to give it a nice glow. And to find that perfect fit, scale it down to a comfy 84%. The stage is set, the characters are in place, and the story unfolds. Also, Place the position keyframe on the background before the 12 frames from the ending of the first scene by setting X to 1898 and Y to zero. Then, after that, start moving forward for 17 frames and place second keyframe here and change X to 640. Excited for what's next? All right, buckle up. We're about to sprinkle some animation magic on Junius Morgan's image. But before we dive into the motion, let's add a cool touch with the BW3 filter. You'll find it in the Filter tab under the Mono section. Dial up the strength to a smooth 21%. See how it adds that timeless black and white charm? Now, onto the animated spectacle. Ready for the show? Let's set the stage with the first keyframe. At the very start, for position, bring X to 200 and Y to zero. Opacity, crank it up to 0%. We're making an entrance. Now, let's fast forward 61 frames and here comes the second act. For position, shift X to a sassy negative 50 while Y stays put. And don't forget to keep the opacity at a solid 100%. It's time to breathe life into Junius Morgan's name. Ready for the animation roller coaster? Let's kick things off. At the very beginning, let's make a grand entrance for Junius Morgan's name. Set the first keyframe for position with X strutting to 900, Y taking a dip to a dramatic negative 370 and Opacity gracefully bowing out at 0%. Fast forward 61 frames, the plot thickens. For the second keyframe, keep the drama alive. Shift X to a 471 while Y holds its ground. And here's the twist. Opacity takes center stage at a show-stopping 100%. Time to bridge the scene seamlessly. Let's extend the underline from the previous act all the way to the grand finale of this one. Picture it as a visual thread connecting our storytelling dots. Let's introduce our key players, two position keyframes. The first, marking five frames before the ending of our scene, and the second, a mysterious traveler, positioned four frames after the first. And set, Y to 2200. Brace yourselves, we're about to level up our scene. How, you wonder. Well, I've got this jaw-dropping money explosion video from a stock photo. Ready for a visual feast? Let's set the stage. Drag that money explosion video into the timeline, syncing its rhythm with our audio. Now, here's where the magic unfolds. Change the blend mode to brighten. To strike the perfect balance, 
let's scale it down to a sleek 92%. For the cherry on top, position it with an X coordinate of 0 and a Y coordinate gracefully set to 90. But wait, there's a little secret. Send it behind Junius Morgan's image. Let's sprinkle a bit of that vintage charm onto our current scene. Remember that captivating dust overlay we used before? Well, it's making a stylish comeback. Copy that enchanting dust overlay from our previous scene, just a little bit of deja vu, and paste it onto our current canvas. It's like a subtle nod to the past, weaving a thread of continuity through our storytelling tapestry. Now, for the pièce de résistance, let's add the finishing touch to our current scene. It's all about that cinematic flourish that leaves an unforgettable impression. At the very end of our scene, set a keyframe for each layer and the position will remain same as given before to the underline layer. Yes, every layer, except the humble background. Now, here's the magic touch. Positioning Y to a mesmerizing 2200. It's like the grand finale of a fireworks display, each layer taking its bow in a synchronized dance. And the result, pure cinematic magic. The final act is upon us and we're pulling out all the stops. For this scene, we need two key ingredients, a mesmerizing Money Rain video and an image of a graduate donning a convocation hat. Let's dive in, shall we? First things first, extend that trusty gray wall background to set the stage for our scene. Now, let's bring in the magic. Drag the Money Rain video into the timeline. Time for the magic touch. Select screen as the blend mode, scale it up to a cinematic 260i% and set the stage perfectly x at 0 and y at 1641. Let's orchestrate the entrance. Add the first keyframe for opacity at the beginning, gracefully set to 0%. Now, fast forward 27 frames and usher in the second act, setting opacity to a triumphant 100%. But wait, there's a twist in the tail. Move six frames forward and introduce another keyframe for opacity, this time at a mysterious 30%. It's like a crescendo building up to the grand finale. The spotlight now shifts to our graduate, making a memorable entrance into our cinematic tale. Ready for the magic? Let's do this. Cue the applause as we introduce our graduate. Drag that captivating image into the scene. Scale it down to a refined 81% and position it like a star at X, Vietz, Zero and Y. A touch of drama at negative 193. But here's where the magic unfolds. Head over to the animation tab. We're setting the stage for the grand entrance. So make sure you're in the in tab. Choose the slide up animation with a perfect duration of 1.9 seconds. It's time to play with effects and adjustments, turning our scene into a visual masterpiece. Our falling money deserves a touch of enchantment. First up, I've added the glow effect to it, giving it a subtle radiance. Set the strength to a gentle four and watch the magic unfold. But why stop there? Let's add a dash of sparkle, introducing the spark effect with an atmospheric value cranked up to 100 and a speedy touch at 33. It's like our money is dancing with joy. Now, let's set the mood. A vignette adjustment with a touch of 50 creates the perfect atmosphere, drawing the audience into our cinematic universe. Our graduate isn't left out of the magic. I've applied the rebound swing effect, creating a dynamic flare. Set the strength to zero, size to nine, and a touch of speed at three. It's like our graduate is ready for a captivating swing. Lastly, let's play with colors. I've tweaked the brightness to a cinematic 22, brought the highlights down to a moody 50, and added a shadowy touch at 28. It's all about crafting the perfect color palette for our last scene. Hold the presses. Seems like I got a little ahead of myself. Let's hit the brakes for a moment because I've got a crucial addition that we can't afford to miss. Just before we dive into the climax, rewind a bit. Before the final five frames of our second scene, we need to set the first position keyframe for our background here. X confidently standing at 640 and Y taking a bow at zero. Now, let's resume our journey forward. Move ahead for a mere 10 frames and lock in our second keyframe. This time, X stays put at 640, but Y takes a dramatic leap to 1771. And there you have it, our cinematic masterpiece is ready to take center stage. Before we wrap up this tutorial, I want to express my heartfelt gratitude for joining me on this creative journey. If you found value in this tutorial, Hit that like button, subscribe for more creative content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your feedback fuels this creative community. As we export this scene, know that this is just the beginning. Stay inspired, keep creating, and I'll see you in our next creative escapade. Until then, happy editing.